live from the westernunion.com VIP lounge. Gabby Diaz in the westernunion.com VIP lounge. We got another amazing guest. Can y'all make some noise for John Bellion, please? <laughs> First of all, I tr I warned you. <laughs> I was I was informed of this today, and literally outside, somebody was like, "There's a few fans. They're not gonna go too crazy." Like I didn't expect like a stage, and I'm a little overwhelmed right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. kind of a big deal. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. <laughs> How are you? How is life? I feel like life has been crazy, probably a little bit, but good crazy. Yeah, really good crazy. Um, life's good. We got a brand new album coming out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The Human Condition. Yes. Why that title? Why that title? <sighs> I feel like no matter black, white, skinny, fat, tall, as a human being, you you in you take on a lot of problems that you don't really want to talk about. It's tough to relate to. You talk to other people, and we all hold in these different things, whether it be pride or you're scared about something or admitting something and talking to people and whatever. We're humans. We have issues, including myself. So on this album, there's a lot of me just kind of venting about how the fact that I'm frustrated at the fact that I'm human. There's a song called called Human that I have. Nice. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. How would you um what's the difference between definition and the human condition? Like as far as the growth wise. Like yeah. how do you feel like coming into this project versus that project? Yeah. Um well this is the first time I work with outside producers. I still produced everything myself and right. wrote hundred percent of it. But you know, this is the first time I got to bring in like choirs we had like 30 people choirs and string wow. sections and guitar players and i've never had that before that's so cool my first three albums i wrote and produced myself right so i never had i was never able to outsource because i either didn't have the money or the connections or whatever right. and now you know capital and visionary and beautiful mind us all working together to outsource these amazing like uh the choir on man uh on man in the mirror from michael jackson oh my gosh is on the outro of my album so it's like pretty dope. That's huge. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be I'm dope. like starstruck with that right now. I was like, what? <laughs> Get out of town. That is crazy. They were some OGs. They were rolling in the studio. Chills, awesome. I bet. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh my gosh. I, I'm curious what you were doing when you found out you got si signed to Capitol. What I was doing. Like, where were you at? What were you doing? Yeah, were you I eating mean, a sandwich? I mean, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's crazy is people always, you know, there's like this this fallacy this like imaginary thing that it's like oh my god my life's gonna change because i'm signed to a label but to be right. honest i've been signed to capital for years oh, it was wow. it was actually my decision to put out free music they wanted me to put out free music immediately and i was like no my first three albums have to be free and they have to be wow. to go right to the people you know what i mean so you wanted to build that buzz exactly and now because of you guys we're going to be able to be successful at radio and whatnot so <laughs> so it's actually, it's crazy. At the time that we live in, it's dope to look around and these are the people that put me in this chair. Like, you guys are the reason. I didn't have to, like, risk a radio record and hopefully it works and if it doesn't work, Capital's gonna shelf you or whatever. It's not gonna happen because you guys in this room right now. So it's it's a dope feeling, for sure. I like, I'm, I like, my eyes got a little watery right now after you said that. I'm like, whoa, like you're, you know what's cool is because you're just so appreciative. Like I feel like when I even walked into that green room right now and spoke to you, you were just like super humbled to be here. Like you were excited and I'm sure you're super excited because you're going to the Warrior game tonight and all that, but. <laughs> Everybody in the crowd, what? I Wait, know, what? that's exactly mine. I'm like jealous, man, come on. But I mean, it, it's really cool to see that, you know, like just how humbled you are by this whole experience. I mean, it's not me, it's not me. If you're looking around in the room, that guy right there, where's Rob and everybody at? All those guys at that back table. Who knows Black Keys, by the way? These are my best friends. I grew up with these guys. These are those the people around me are the reason that I was able to do this. I just I make music. It's fun. It's a hobby. I'm not changing the world. These guys are like calling you guys and setting this stuff up and so well, many people. Well, it's cool to have a corner. good team around you. Oh my God. I mean, because I'm sure there's times like or there's artists that can relate to like, wow, I've had like a good run, but God, my team maybe wasn't there for me at that time. Yeah, or, not, not me. Yeah, and these yeah, guys. you guys were just vibing in there. These are my best friends. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at summer camp on tour. We all get on a bus. <laughs> these, my band is actually the dudes I went to college with. We all promised wow. each other if somebody was to 
blow up or make it or whatever that we'd play for each other and now it's my best friends from college is 12 of my best friends we go on tour and just play music for people it's bffs <laughs> i am like oh one four three I, seriously <laughs> six three seven i will keep going <laughs> asl let's go there no i'm just like <laughs> ASL. <laughs> i was all up in those aol chat rooms back in the day <laughs> um so we got a couple of questions from the fans um a lot of them are similar so i picked and choose you cool. know um but i thought this was interesting just because I'm super into fashion, mm. and your, I mean, your Hey Arnold shirt alone says a lot. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so what are some of your favorite clothing brands? Clothing brands? <sighs> or are you there's like a, a record, there's a record on this album called Fashion. And hey, it, that and makes it, sense. And it basically addresses how I feel about fashion. And that's like, some days I could be the freshest dude ever, and other days I'll show up to something like this in <laughs> socks. And Got my, your Hanes socks on, my no pay less moccasins. It's, <laughs> If you love what you're wearing, you feel comfortable in it, rock out. You know, totally. I, have brand, I like Nike. I wear a lot of pajamas all the time. Do you so. thrift at all? Like thrift shops at all? Uh, I'm a huge fan of like, one thing I've taken advantage of with like the newfound success. Mm, sorry. I love free stuff. Dude. Like all I wear is like, like a- That's the perks, man. <laughs> free stuff, <laughs> I mean, send come me free on. free t-shirts and whatnot, that's all I wear. I'll just rock sweatpants and like the free stuff that people give me them. I'm down for the cause, man. Hey, man, you're like, I'll rep you if it's free. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, another one that was cool. What song are you most proud of? Song am I most proud of? Like ever? Yeah. Wow. He's like, dang, I don't know. I guess uh, the outro record where we worked with the, with the choir and stuff. It's, yeah. It's called Hand of God. That's probably one of my favorite records I've ever done. Did yeah. you maybe, now this is, this could maybe be creepy kind of, but did you yeah. feel like Michael Jackson's spirit in there at all? <laughs> like just kind of hovering over that choir? Like I will not <laughs> <laughs> take on any of that pressure whatsoever. No, yeah. I hope I, if his spirit was there, I'd please come again. Like I please. think he probably follows that choir, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I, I wish, hopefully it was. Let's we'll see how the album does. Hey, I, if the album, goes number one, I'll be like, yes, yes, he was in the room. <laughs> that was it, it right was, there. It okay? was special. It was special. <laughs> um, what is your, who is your favorite artist at the moment? To listen to? Ugh. You could say a couple. I'm not going to just limit you to one. There's too many good ones out there right now. Um, nonstop Tame Impala. Nonstop Ooh. Tame Impala. There's a, okay. uh, cause I'm a man, that's the record. I wish I made that song. <laughs> if I made that song, I would have quit music already. Oh my God. I would have been like, I'm good. I'm done. <laughs> Tame Impala's new album is incredible. So you guys should pick it up. Check it out. It's very good. <laughs> okay. Um, what inspires you the most? Ooh, wow. Uh, it's a very existential question. I know. Sorry. I think <laughs> just being able to, to uh, being able to like help help people, to be able to bless people. Like, if I can somehow pay it forward or whatever success comes my way, if that in turn can open up doors for somebody else or somebody around me or somebody I knew forever and help them out in any sort of way. I think that's what excites me. I'm excited to like, because the, the more I, I can acquire, the more I can help other people, so. It's all about the growth, you totally. know what I mean? Because I, I feel like even as an intern, you know what I mean? Like you see things and you're like, God, I wanna do that. Yes. And when you meet somebody that's willing to help you get there. Totally. That's like. Totally. Gold, yeah. you know, it's yeah. fun. There was two actually producers that worked with me heavily on like every record. If you guys look at the credits of the album when you get like the booklet and stuff, there's um, OG and Volta other names. They okay. got not many credits, not whatever, they haven't, but like I worked with them on every single song because I'm a fan of them, not because they're these mega producers right. or whatever. So it's, it's a good feeling to be able to potentially kickstart something for somebody else or just totally. even, it's just, it's, it's awesome. That's why I live for that stuff. I it's fun. Stuff, yeah. It's fun to grow together. Yeah. Um, when did you start playing basketball and why do you enjoy it? I've been playing basketball since, since I can remember. I love, I love basketball. Um, and it must be fun, like growing up in New York, playing that, like in the courts and stuff, right? I mean, I grew up on Long Island. It wasn't like, it wasn't like that. <laughs> it wasn't like let's fist fight if we don't win it wasn't really like that but and no no i mean just saying like the i feel like just the energy maybe like i'm all oh, about totally, energy totally. you know no, what i mean so definitely we i mean we used to play city teams and stuff i played for like state teams in my high school and had some scholarship stuff and i could have played in college and whatnot i chose to go to music school wow um, i dropped out after like nine months which <laughs> it happens you know <laughs> it is with no big deal i don't suggest any of you guys <laughs> dropping out of school don't follow in his footsteps but, <laughs> i'm just like 
I love playing bet. I mean, on tour last year, we had a bus and uh, we we bought a hoop at Target and put it on the bus. And then we would literally stop in parking lots in the middle of like cornfields, and we would just be like playing basketball. That's dope, day, though. Yeah. That's all we do on tour is basketball and Smash Brothers. Oh my god. And <laughs> sixty four Smash Brothers though. Oh. <laughs> ah, yeah. Good choice. Good choice. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Um, <laughs> this is kind of cool because you would you consider well you you're still on the come up. You know what I mean? Totally. Like so what piece of advice can you give to somebody that's maybe trying to do the same thing or yeah. you know as an artist writer producer anything if as far as music goes I always had a rule for myself and it was always just make the next song better than the last one if you're mm -hmm. and don't worry about anything else like it's the best way to put this I just never was concerned about management or labels or my social media numbers or anything. I was just really concerned about making music, like the music, the music needs to be really good. The sounds need to be really good. Just concentrate on the music. If that's all you, if that's what you want to be good at, other stuff happen on, happens on its own. Right. Like, people will come around, you'll, you'll watch. You get better and better and better at making music and making records, things will just start to blossom. Things will just start to happen. Because the music, like music, make it first. Yeah. It first. I, I feel like artists sometimes get jaded by the social media type stuff. Social media is, is one of the worst in my opinion is one of the worst things to happen to it's hard the human race like, totally ever. oh yeah it's such it's like i hate quoting myself it's so corny but like <laughs> we live in an age where everything is staged all we do is fake our feelings like that's a total reference to social media we social media is a thing that lives that doesn't exist but we live in it it's like a new world and everybody has to pretend to be on all the time yeah. I'm so happy today. Look at all my accomplishments today. Look, at, I had the best day ever. I'm selling out shows and whatever. I'm never going to go on Twitter and be like, woke up this morning, had a pretty shitty day. Um, you know, I yelled at somebody and lost my temper and I was a real dickhead today. Have a good one, guys. Like, no one says that. Yeah. Ever. Sorry, I, I, cur I said bad it's words. It's all right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Point being. <laughs> we could bleep it out. <laughs> yeah. It's like. I don't know, man. You look at other people's lives and you're always comparing and your selfie and how you look and your image. Like, my niece is like six years old. And the other day she was like, Uncle Johnny, don't take that picture. That's my, I was like, let me see how I look. I was like, She's six. Yeah. And That's she, scary. And it's just, and it's not even like it was this, oh my God. But I'm looking like, wow. Like, social media and Instagram about that. has taken its toll on even like the youngest of. It's just. It's rough, man. It's rough. It's I'm worried because I have um, a niece and nephew, you know, and they're young. They're like a year. One was just born, you know, and I'm just worried. I sit there and I think I I'm like, it's bad now. Can you imagine what could happen in like five and, years even for that matter? And, and there's no ownership of what you're saying. There's people out there that know that no one's going to, don't, they, don't, they, they don't have to have a face to what they say. Mm -hmm. So you can say the most hurtful, most disrespectful, horrible you know, us it's as boring. artists, we sign up for this. We have to be, it is what it is. If people say stuff, they're going to say what they want. We're on public display. That's what we do as artists. But for random kids in high school, like, you know, online bullying and like, it's you're serious. this. And you're, you're, it's, social media can be rough, man. Don't, if I could just encourage you guys at any point, like, this is why I do this, is to talk to you guys. So I'm not going to not take the opportunity to say it. Like, don't, don't live on social media. Don't, don't take it to heart. Don't. If you're having a bad day and you look at someone else's Instagram and wow, I wish my life was like theirs, don't. Because 99% of the time, my life's not the way it looks on my social media. You know what I'm saying? It's everybody's a human being, so just just keep that in mind. Just take it take it from somebody who's mildly successful on some sort of public platform. Like just don't don't take too much. Don't put everything into it. Don't don't worry it's about your likes life. and your favorites and your retweets. That's yeah. not it's not real existence. That's not. You don't want to wake, like, it's just not real life. So just concentrate on real life, the people that love you, the people that are in front of you, the people that actually care about you, you know? That's that's important, for sure. Gems well. from this guy, man. <laughs> words, of, words of wisdom. I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> well, I mean, good luck, man, with the album. Thank I'm you. super excited for it. Thank like, you. really excited. Um, I can't wait. I, I I just can't wait to see what's going to happen for you. I, I appreciate it. I can't wait to see what happens either. <laughs> This whole thing has been like, it's just working out. Like yeah. it's just like I'm looking around like, oh, this is this is working. Let's let's all right, we'll keep now, doing. Now I'm almost positive that everybody in this room follows you on social. Mm -hmm. But for the people that are watching, can yeah. you just give it out one more time so they could like get these hidden gems from you <laughs> on your social media? At John Bellion, the name J O N B E L L I O N. Oh man, yeah. I'm so serious. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks again for stopping by. It's Gabby Diaz on the Western Union.com VIP Lounge. Peace.